Hello guys, I'm back again. I am um, I'm still wake up waiting for my husband from work. He's working actually this weekend uh, night shift. So what I'm doing is of course um, uh, downloading some of the video that I do from from Oslo because I just travel from there um, it's really really hard travel um, I went there and uh, oh my god you know the train have a problem you know and uh, yeah Crazy, crazy, crazy travel. Wake up early in the morning because uh, to get there early in Oslo, of course. So I come out from here in Sweden um, 6.20 in the morning and then the train that I went is got a problem. So what we do, I forgot which which area where we go. We stop because they said the train got problem with the electricity, and then so they transfer us in the bus, and then after that train again going to Oslo. So I came to Oslo like twelve something in the afternoon. And then I take taxi. I'm planning to take taxi, but the taxi driver they don't know anything about Philippine um, address or whatever. Uh, they don't wanna Google it. And then um, I put that one actually in my uh, in my channel all my journey to Oslo. So one of the taxi driver uh, saying that. I am close uh, from city terminal to embassy so they just showing me to he just showing me to uh, to that way to embassy he said I just need to walk so I walk all the way there and of course because I'm not really sure the address so I asked someone to uh, to guide me all the way to Philippine Embassy. So it was really really nice of the guy that uh, uh, showing me the uh, the address all the way to get there in Embassy. Yeah? So anyway, I get it, uh, and then after that, I asked my husband. Uh, you know, I tell to my husband actually that I want to stay one day just because I, I want to do, um, you know, my channel, you know, my YouTube channel. I just want to show you guys how it look like in Oslo, this and this, you know. For my experience in Oslo, when I was there, um, all the Philippine women, I try to be nice with them and you know to be friends with them but anyway they're not really friendly with me I try to hold myself to um, you know to not be irritated for them um, I try to uh, make a friend but uh, I was not really lucky because they are so stubborn uh, all of them there in the embassy actually the people that went in embassy so I have that one uh, in my YouTube as well so you can see all of them who they are because I catch them in my channel you know and I am so really sad because uh, when I came to uh, Philippine embassy I tried to be friends as well in the same time I went there because I lost my uh, Philippine passport 
I'm still a Philippine passport actually. I never even think about it to change a uh, Philippine to a uh, Swedish passport. They said uh, they have a dual or something like that, but uh, only only some of the country in Europe that they have a dual, but in Nor uh, in Norway, they don't have dual. You know, meaning you cannot uh, you cannot have two passport. You can only have one passport. That is for what I ask for the embassy. I ask them if they have a dual, because um, uh, some people ask for that actually with me, you know. But I know Sweden, you can ask for a dual passport, you know, Philippine and Swedish passport if you want that. So you can have two passports. So when you go to Philippines, so you don't need to pay visa, you know, after 21 days. Everybody knows that. Of I hope so. Yeah. And uh, of course, if you are having baby and you deliver the baby, here in Sweden, then if they want to come to Philippines to visit or in the future, you know, they want to be there, stay long time. If you don't have dual, then you need to pay. You need to pay all the time, every 21 days. So it's very, very sad. But if you have a dual, the dual Philippine passport, then you don't need to pay for your uh, children, uh, children or the family that you that of course that is Filipino that living in Sweden that having living here for a long time for my experience when I asked them there they said in Norway they don't have a dual anyway I went there and uh, uh, fixing my uh, my Swedish uh, no, my uh, I bring my Swedish document, and then um, I mean document is my uh, residence visa here. Um, because I lost my passport, so that's why I went there. And you can also see that one. What did I need for uh, all the requirements? for uh, loose passport um, what you need for what I experience I have is the report police report when did you lose you know and of course report police report is you tell everything the real one the real story why you lose the passport and you wait for that which country did you lose whatever and you with the the uh, paper from the police, and if you still a Philippine passport, if you lose that, they ask you for the birth certificate from Philippine that indicated, meaning they have a ribbon, also marriage contract if you married, so that one you needed, and then your uh, permanent which country which country you are. And uh, of course, if you copy your document before, so it's good for you to bring that one. Or if you've been copy your passport before, before that one is lost, so that one is good. It's a help as well to be quick. They said, if you ask me how long for them to process all of this uh, before you will have a new passport, they said the waiting time. Is between one month to three months yeah so that is waiting uh, waiting um, uh, for us for everybody that is lose passport uh, to lose passport is same same like you start in the beginning to make a new passport so uh, in Sweden it costs like almost uh, 2,000 uh, Norway money. It's like 2,500 euro money. Yeah, You don't need to be worried about that because they will give you a receipt, uh, receipt anyway. So they said you can pick it up, the passport in the embassy or you can pay them extra 
for you to um, to send it to your home the from uh, from Philippine directly to do DHL directly from Philippine to where you are to your home they said you just pay extra money for that actually so I wish that uh, this information is help for you so um, that time I was planning to stay you know in in Norway but um, because I try to be a, to be a friends with Philippine people in Norway they are so fucking stubborn you know they think they are best than everybody anyway you know everybody is free of course they don't know me you know and that is the beginning that's why everybody needs to start somewhere to be a friends right so what uh, what I'm gonna do then you know it's always you know us where they came from they speak Bisaya I am from a Kesson province I said you know but I speak Bisaya because my papa is from Masbati and they live also in Cebu. So that's why uh, they talk also Leyte language. So I speak Bisaya actually in Tagalog and of course English like I said to you, talking to you guys now. You know, people they come to Europe, they think, uh, you know, they think they are the best than everybody. So it's really so sad, you know, really, really so sad actually. I hate them. You know, I hate people like that, pretending that they are, uh, they are uh, better than you are. You know, it's um, just what I'm gonna do. Just respect them anyway. So I was respect me too. Um, just so sad, actually. You know, but I wish you know all these people from, uh, from my country, Filipino. Sana naman po, wag naman po kayong ganyan. Kung alam po ninyo na may Pilipino, Pilipino po kayo friends at gusto makipagkaibigan po sa inyo. E sana naman po makipagkaibigan din kayo. Ang yayabang naman ninyo, yung iba dyan mayayabang. You know? Dahil lang nakarating sa Europe, kala ninyo kung sino na kayo. Mahiya naman kayo sa sarili ninyo. Diyos ko po, pare-pareho lang tayo. Yun ang ano, gusto ko lang iparating sa mga taong nasa Europe. Na mga Pilipina, Pilipino. Hmm. Kahit anong gawin ninyo, palitan man ninyo yung passport ninyo, Pilipino pa rin kayo. Kaya nga hindi ko pinapalitan yung passport ko ng Swedish passport eh. Kasi totoo naman talaga akong Pilipino. But of course, it's good also to have a Swedish passport or, or a Europe passport. Kasi mahirap nga naman kapag Pilipino passport ka. Kung magta-travel ka sa USA or whatever. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin na may passport ka na na iba, mayabang, mag magyayabang ka na. Mali naman po yun, syempre. Okay, it's your way, it's whatever, you know. Hmm. So, ah, yun lang, yun lang naman ang gusto kong iparating sa lahat ng mga Pilipina. Sana makatulong itong, uh, itong video ko po sa inyo sa Los Passport. Yun tulad ng sinabi ko nga po sa inyo. Napakahirap po. Napakahirap. Oo nga nawala yung passport mo tapos wala ka naman pera hindi mo rin po magagawa yung mga dapat mong gawin kaya importante talaga sa bawat isa sa atin is ano makapag-ipon ng pera po importante po yun hmm. so oh tatanungin niyo ako ngayon kung anong ginagawa ko ngayon at saka nasaan ako ngayon nasa Sweden po ako ngayon no Sweden o Ribro Sweden po. Um, nandito po ako sa Sweden o Ribro. At saka ang oras po namin ngayon ay alas 5.3. Yan po yung oras namin. Yan. Okay? Kung tatanungin po ninyo ako ano ang ginagawa ko ngayon, bakit gising ako, is 
nagda-download po ako ng mga ginawa ko na video clip nung ako po ay nasa Norway, no? Um, yun po ang ginagawa ko ngayon. So, kaya wake pa rin po ako. So, um, at saka, uh, nakikipag-chat po ako sa mga kaibigan ko. Uh, marami po akong Facebook. Uh, may Facebook po ako about dancing. Kasi yun ang work ko rin dito sa Sweden. At saka, may, uh, uh, meron din po akong uh, Facebook para sa massage ko. At saka, may, may private Facebook din ako. At saka, may private Uh, mayroon din po akong Facebook ng aking uh, company na Pufu Mini Market. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching me. Uh, I need to cut my YouTube now and then I will do it again. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Sana makatulong po itong aking video. Bye.